China shocks the US once more following their test the fight for sixth generation dominance has just started after China's brand new fighter launched against the US. In either case, the US will find it difficult because the Chinese fighters are too equal. The question at hand is whether it was just a coincidence or whether a Chinese spy or spy balloon managed to eavesdrop on an American meeting that was being kept secret. This isn't the first time either. China is said to have stolen private U.S. military information, including F-35 information, in the early 2000s. And all you need to see the similarity between an F-35 demonstrator and a Chinese FC-31 prototype is that they are practically identical. The fifth generation J-20, currently the third most powerful fighter in the world, is the outcome for China. And now, with its sixth generation fighter, China wants to dominate the field. A future stealth fighter's concept art has been appearing on social media more and more recently from China's military aviation industry. Even though these computer-generated designs are far from final, one thing is obvious China's sixth-generation stealth fighter will probably end up being smaller than its American counterpart, the next-generation air-dominant stealth fighter. The depicted twin-engine jet fighters had a blended wing body configuration. No tail and low reflective diamond-shaped wings similar to Northrop promising Grumman's YF-23 Black Widow demonstrator fighter. There are many more omens importance. On January 18th, a picture of a tailless fighter displayed on a computer screen appeared to be from the China Aeronautical Radio Electronic Research Institute, which has its headquarters in Shanghai. In a satellite image of the Chengdu Aircraft Corporation factory taken in October 2021, a mysterious tailless demonstrator or mock-up appeared to match the aircraft on the monitor. China's fifth-generation stealth fighter, the J-20, is made by CAC. At this point, only the broadest interpretations should be made of this type of artwork and mock-ups. Many conceptual designs are never put into production, and those that are always go through a lot of changes. Indeed, Lockheed Concept Martin's design for the X-44 Manta, a tailless manned fighter testbed, was never actually built, with the possible exception of a tailless drone demonstrator with the same name. The author Rick Zhou, who frequently publishes in-depth articles on Chinese military technology and force structure, stated on social media that the generic, tall future fighter art is significant only in the sense that a VIC wouldn't display a high-profile CGI if they weren't working on a significant next-gen fighter. The specifics probably don't matter as much as the conformable signaling of stealthy, tucked-in fighter. Expected new capabilities include AI-assisted piloting drone control, even more extensive sensor networking with friendly forces than found on the extremely networkable F-35, and adaptable combined cycle engines capable of sustained supersonic cruising while generating enough electricity for potent jammers or directed energy weapons like lasers. The NGAD fighter being developed by the U.S. Air Force already exists as a flying demonstrator but has not yet been made public. However, recently released concept art depicts a large triangular flying wing that, when viewed from above, resembles a steel-skinned Dorito. The manned NGAD fighter will be created as part of a system of systems that includes ground platforms, drones, and supporting hardware. Although China has a history of industrial espionage and the reverse engineering of imported combat aircraft and helicopters, its apparent preference for a tailless design probably reflects convergence on similar obvious technological solutions rather than stealing per se. A plane's tail fins, also known as horizontal and vertical stabilizers, give it stability as well as more maneuverability options. For fighter aircraft built to outmaneuver foes in close quarters combat, that has historically been crucial. While horizontal stabilizers aid in pitching the aircraft up or down, the vertical stabilizer, or rudder, allows for sideways yawing movement. However, reflective stabilizer surfaces make it more difficult and constrained to reduce a warplane's radar cross-section, especially when scanned from the side or the back. This is why the American B-2 Spirit stealth bomber and stealthy drones like the RQ-170 have flying wings without stabilizers. Stabilizers are removed to increase range and sustain cruising speeds while lowering weight and drag. It is well known that China's aerospace industry is working on a sixth-generation fighter jet program. General Mark Kelly, the head of the U.S. Air Combat Command stated in September that China is on track to produce a sixth-generation fighter but insisted that the U.S. must deploy its next-generation fighter before China does. Speaking to the media at the Airspace and Cyber Conference of the Air and Space Forces Association, Kelly urged the U.S. Air Force to make sure we get to sixth-gen air dominance at least a month before our competitors. A manned sixth-generation stealth fighter jet with cutting-edge and unheard-of capabilities is part of the next-generation air dominance NGAD program that the U.S. is also pursuing. Pursuing. Although there is no official or reliable information about the Chinese sixth-generation program in the public domain, 
Top USAF officials are reportedly concerned about it. The designs of a tailless combat aircraft on display at the Zhuhai Air Show this year were notable because they had previously been published in openly accessible Chinese aviation engineering white papers. Additionally, a mysterious, tail-equipped vehicle that is thought to be a demonstrator or mock-up of a manned sixth-generation fighter jet was spotted at the Chengdu Aircraft Corporation's factory airfield in October of last year. Andreas Ruprecht, a specialist in Chinese military aviation, claims that there have been some verifiable rumors of a sixth-generation manned fighter project with a target service entry date of 2035. A maiden flight could take place if the Chinese stick to that schedule. More importantly, Ruprecht pointed out that the 2035 goal was first mentioned in a 2019 interview with Wang Heifeng, the CAC's chief designer, one of China's two major fighter aircraft producers. CAC is in charge of producing the fifth-generation J-20 and the single-engine J-10, so it seems like a no-brainer to include it in a sixth-generation fighter program. General Kelly said that China's perspective on sixth-generation air power, including future manned fighter aircraft, is similar to that of the USAF, which includes an exponential reduction in signature, an exponential acceleration of processing power and sensing, and the ability to iterate improvements made possible by open mission systems. General Kelly made these remarks during his remarks at the AFA conference in September. The tailless vehicle's airframe does appear suitable for achieving an exponential reduction in the signature, as it was seen there in October 2021. The low observability of broadband against numerous radar types operating across frequencies is significantly improved by the tailless design. Beyond the head-on perspective, it also lessens the radar signature of the aircraft. Better efficiency through decreased waste is another benefit of the tailless design concept. The delta platform of the airframe is sizable and modified and it has a relatively thin nose section. It seems like the wingspan is about the same length as a J-20. This layout offers space for a sizable internal weapons bay as well as lots of fuel. Weight loss is another benefit. This indicates that such a design would have a large payload capacity, a rapid top speed, and low observability. The difficulty of achieving stability without vertical tails, which could limit maneuverability, may be one disadvantage of this design. However, thrust vectoring could partially make up for this. According to some unconfirmed reports, the aircraft might use a TVC engine based on the WS-19 turboffin engine. However, as the Eurasian Times has previously discussed, the USAF's NGAD program is a vast initiative aimed at developing a system of systems that will include manned jets, unmanned drones, and a new generation of networking technology. Wang highlighted the use of drones, artificial intelligence, improved stealth, and cutting-edge sensors in his 2019 interview. The most recent example of this was a mysterious stealthy drone thought to be a loyal wingman concept for J-20 stealth fighters that also surfaced ahead of the Zhuhai Airshow.